How's it going guys? Jack Pugsley here and welcome to the channel. Guys, today um, more transfer news coming out of the city ground. Um, thankfully some positive news today. Obviously yesterday wasn't a great day. So the news today um, is that Nottingham Forest have confirmed the signing of 30 year old striker, Spanish striker, Miguel Angel Guerrero. Sorry if the pronunciation in that is just absolutely dreadful. I do apologise, uh, but yeah, another signing on the board, I believe that's signing number 7. Um, Taylor, Basharu, Blackett, Naguero. Have we only made 5 signings? Could have swore it was a few more than that. Miguel Angel Guerrero, 30 years old, Spanish striker, uh, made I think it's something like 20 to 22 appearances in the Champions League, Europa League as well, so he's very experienced. Obviously. We've got three three good strikers now. Graben, 31 years old. Lyle Taylor, 30 years old. Um, and now this geezer, 30 years old. You know, we probably could do with a younger, younger, faster striker maybe uh, when it comes to pace. But I believe Lyle Taylor's he's rapid anyway, so I don't think we need to worry about that to be honest. Uh, but yeah, that's three really good strikers now. Three really proven strikers. Obviously, Guerrero's not really proved it uh, in this league, but elsewhere, you know, in, in, in the La Liga, he's proved it with the Gons last season. He had a brilliant season, I heard. Um, and in, in the uh, in the Greek league as well with the NPR, because he was a very good player. So uh, yeah, delighted with it. Started off his career uh, in his youth days, Atletico Madrid. Then made the switch to the uh, other team in Madrid. I don't know if you've ever heard of them, Real Madrid. So uh, yeah, he had potential, and he still must have a little bit of potential in it. Um, he's 30 years old, you know. It's not old, uh, but I wouldn't class him as a spring chicken. You know, he's still he's still getting on a tinsy bit, but there's still something in there. Um, we've got to enjoy obviously this season sorry last season we played at uh, Olympiacos in a friendly um, and I watched it on YouTube I wish I was there it looked like an amazing fixture to be at um, and he was given I think it was was it cash it was either cash or Ribeiro he was giving our fullbacks a, a tough time a really tough time and even our centre backs as well because uh, he's a striker but I think he's very versatile with it as well I've heard uh, and he was giving our defenders such a ragged time and it was really tough for him really tough for our players sorry um, so yeah, if he's still got that from last year, which I mean, I don't think much can change in him, uh, much can change in a player between a year, uh, then I'm looking forward to see what he's about. Uh, so yeah, again, really good signing. Guerrero seems to me that he is a striker similar to Lewis Graben. Um, needs support. Don't get me wrong, Lewis Graben scored 20 goals last season under a system that's not suited to him, it's suited to how he plays. Probably more suited to Lyle Taylor and how he plays, you know. Uh, so 20 goals last season was just, yeah, it was, it was phenomenal under, under a system that probably didn't suit him as well. Uh, and I looked at the stats from Guerra, I'll put them on the screen now. Even though he can be quite versatile, I've heard, I just feel like the system that Sabri Limici played last season probably isn't going to work for Guerra. I might be totally wrong, this video might come and haunt me. Uh, fingers crossed it does. Yeah, it does. Hopefully it does. This league's all about taking risks. It's all about gambles and partly look, pot look. You know, you have to look at it like that. This league's very hard. We've been in it for the longest amount of time, wasn't Derby, you know? So, yeah, one day we'll hopefully get out of it. This year being that year, fingers crossed. Um, I'll be doing a league table prediction video very soon as well. Should be out in the next two days uh, predicting the league table. So look out for that. And, uh, yeah. yeah, I just want to say the business that we're doing this, this summer is really 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 good um, every signing has been free pretty much even this one because from Olympiacos our, our own owns Olympiacos so I don't imagine we're losing any money on this uh, so yeah every deal we're getting is has pretty much been free and some of the signings some of the names we've brought in Colback, Lyle Taylor uh, you know Blackett the list goes on some very very good signings delighted with it um, if you have enjoyed this video, please drop a like, it's really appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn post notifications on. Uh, and uh, yeah, the reds are going up. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Forest, till I die. Okay, um, if you have made it to the end of the video, thank you so, so much for that. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, if you are here and watching right now, I just quickly want to say, uh, like I said, drop a like, subscribe, turn post notifications on. But most importantly, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Obviously, I've been pretty slow with the uploads recently. Um, I've been doing live streams when we announce them. On the, the live streams aren't, aren't as fun uh, as making the videos. But, uh, yeah, the videos are back now. Uploads are going to be consistent. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get some more signings in. And, yeah, please, please subscribe to the channel. Let's keep gaining. Uh, support's been unreal, so thank you so, so much. Hanzo, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay safe and forest till I die. Cheers, guys.